Welcome to the mini podcast series, Data and Float, Conversations from the Richmond CDO Forum. Join us as we interview the data thought leaders and chief data officers featuring on our 2024 conference program. Hear how they are shaping the future of data and get a glimpse into the areas of expertise they'll be bringing to the forum in September 2024. Learn about their journeys into the world of data and find out about the person behind the title as we look forward to the inaugural Richmond CDO Forum next September. Brought to you by Richmond Events. My name is Liam Quinn and I'm the Project Director for the Richmond CDO Forum here at Richmond Events. It's my pleasure to host this podcast and I hope you get as much out of it as I did. In today's podcast, we're going to hear from Liz Henderson, the Data Queen, as she provides us with a brief summary of how she got into data and what she will be discussing at the Richmond CDO Forum next year. Hi Liz, our first question is, in a nutshell, how did you begin your career in data and what's kept you there? I find that most data professionals actually fell into the world of data, but that's probably because the data career didn't exist over 20 years ago. I started off in the world of accountancy, being very number orientated, and then took a diversion into pub management. And that after having that experience of managing inventory and staff rotors, that gave me the opportunity to move into retail as an inventory analyst and also did some buying, uh, which I really enjoyed because if you put your, your analytical hat on, buying is really a great opportunity. But having that inventory experience, that data experience, it led me on to broaden my career in data and get more and more experience. And I was known within the industry that I was working in and got headhunted by IBM, then went worked with a number of clients over there, then led on to a more detailed career in data doing contracting and now today I advise CDOs and heads of data to unlock the full potential from their data. What is your top prediction for the future of data and what opportunities for harnessing data do you foresee on the horizon? I've given a number of presentations recently on data, the future, which consisted of many topics around things such as data as a product, AI, generative AI, completely splitting them in two, data mesh, data fabric, and how that can help us access our data. But more importantly, I think the key element and the future direction of data is embedding data practices into the DNA of the organisation, whether that's making sure data governance becomes part of corporate governance, and also making sure the business is fully confident with data, what needs to happen, owning it, and making sure it's relevant to what they're doing. In your opinion, what makes a good CDO? I've met many types of CDOs and heads of data in my time. Many take a sideways move from IT. A number come up through the technical path, through being able to program and moving into data that way. But very few actually come through the business. And I think it's really important that they have that business focus. Data is all around people and business. They're the two main elements that make it successful. So the key, the key skills that I think CDOs need are those soft skills about collaboration, influence, problem solving, being able to collaborate with others to achieve the goals that are needed for the organisation. Also, change management skills. And because nobody really cares about data unless it goes wrong and what you actually do, having that resilience and determination to make sure you can get to the bottom of the problems and resolve them to delight your customers, whether that's internal or external. Tell us one thing that might surprise people about you. I'm an advanced qualified scuba diver. I don't like cold water, would never dive in the UK. So I learned in Turkey um, and then I went on to Egypt in the Med to do my advanced training where I went down to 40 metres, did wreck dives and also a night dive. Absolutely love night dives. And it's not as dark down there as you really think. When you're looking down into the water, it looks really dark. But when you're in the water and looking up, it's actually quite light. And I've also dived on the Great Barrier Reef, flew out to a tiny little island called Lady Elliot Island in this little tiny plane, dived the next day. Amazing, enormous reefs, enormous fish, um, a few sharks. They were um, black tip sharks so they weren't harmful to us at all but the colours the size of the fish I've seen huge turtles absolutely stunning experience finally please provide a small teaser into your session at the inaugural Richmond CDO forum a little teaser for my session 
Data is a people sport. My focus is all around the people. McKinsey and Gartner and countless other organisations state that over 70% of transformation projects do not deliver the results because of the people, because of the cultural changes, they're not there. So I focus on the people side, making data relatable to all levels so people understand the ambitions. And I'm also going to share with you three powerful questions on how to, how to help you understand what the business needs from their data strategy. And we can put a small data strategy together. I don't create 50 page chunky documents. I create clear, instantly understandable directions for organisations. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Thank you, Liz, for giving us such a great insight into your journey through data. I also love scuba diving, so I'll enjoy sharing some stories with you at the forum next year. This was Data Unplugged, conversations from the Richmond CDO Forum, brought to you by Richmond Events. We hope you enjoyed this podcast. Please follow us on LinkedIn and Spotify, helping us to spread the word and reach chief data officers throughout the UK. You can find out more at the richmondcdoforum.com.